In this video, I will be unlocking the Vice City Platinum Trophy. Let's get into it. So to start this story, I checked the trophy guide and, uh, you know, I was pretty excited to hop into Vice City and um, saw that the trophy guide said that it was a 45 hour platinum this time, which was fine. I, I had no issues with that. However, my worst nightmare returned. That's not great. That, that's fine. It, it can't get any worse than that, surely. This platinum's gonna suck. So the first thing I did in this game was jump straight into the paramedic missions. I was not fucking around this time. Yeah, you know, I felt like Michael Jordan after I got beaten by the magic in the second round. Yeah, you know, I come back that next season, I'm I'm ready. I'm I'm not fucking around, you know, and, and that that's that's how I treated these paramedic missions. I actually completed it first try this time. It took me twenty minutes, not even. But uh yeah, that was uh no rant this time, we got this out of the way straight away and I thought this, this this has got off to a great start. The next one I got was a new side mission. It's a pizza boy side mission where all you gotta do is deliver pizzas to people and it's actually quite easy. You get the trophy for doing 10 of them. I got to level 10 which gave me 150 health, so it was pretty worth it. I then got this trophy for using a police bribe. It's, you should do it just naturally. I got this trophy for doing a wheelie for 30 seconds. I then did all the taxi stuff, which just like the last game, you've just got to drop off 100 people. Except this time, you just need 25 people for the trophy. You just need 100 people for 100%. You can tell that there is a clear agenda here. I'm getting these vehicle missions done before I even start the story this time. I'm not fucking around with Yangs, none of that. For completing 100 passengers, you get this uh, little ability where you can jump with the taxi. I can tell you right now, I did not use it once, so that was not really useful to me. But then finally started the story, which got me this trophy. This next mission was a missable trophy. I had to kill this guy with a golf club. Ahead of time, I've moved the golf carts out of the way because he likes to run really fast, so I've just beat the shit out of him with a golf club here, and uh, I got the, the trophy. This next trophy was also missable. I had to kill every single worker on this work site with this remote control helicopter. So I just had to fly into them and spice them up. It was pretty easy, um, not much to it, but obviously pretty missable. I, I wouldn't have thought to have done this if I didn't see the trophy guide. Continuing on with the story, I had this mission here where I have to find this guy that I've been ordered to kill and kill him with a chainsaw. I thought this was a pretty cool mission, so there's a little bit of footage here, I guess. I then discovered the state of Florida. Bro, I'm in actual Florida right now. This is a fucking shithole. Look at this shit. Now with the second island unlock, I was able to do the fire extinguisher challenge, which was actually kind of a pain in the ass. Because just like the vigilante missions, they've changed the firefighter missions, so you got to complete 12 levels of it. I wouldn't say it's hard, but when you get bullshit like this just happen out of nowhere, it's um, fucking annoying for sure. How I'll put it is that they've made the requirements to beat them harder, but they're not actually harder. I then discovered that the radio stations had Africa in the game, which made my life a whole lot better. This time I did not leave this to last. I did not want to do what happened last time. I got all the hidden packages out of the way. Here's my last hidden package. The last thing, nice. During my hunt for all the hidden packages, I uh, had some success and some failure. Yes! The real reason why I didn't leave the hidden packages to last was so I could use this attack helicopter to do all the vigilante missions for me. And I can tell you right now, it made it so much easier. What the fuck? What? Hello? Am I in Black Ops 3 now? What? Oh, fucking... <laughs> 
<laughs> what's gone? We're back in fucking Plato land. What? Trying to get six stars, I got this trophy for causing a lot of property damage. For this trophy, you've got to listen to every single radio station in the game, which is not as simple as just putting every radio station on. You've got to listen to a full song on every single radio station. There's talk shows where you've got to listen to 15 to 20 minutes of them talking before it actually counts. So I just sat in a bush and just listened to it. I then completed Diaz's strand of missions to get this trophy. I then ended up getting distracted at how good this game looks, so I just started filming some cinematics, I guess. I got this trophy for killing Daz with an M4, and I also took his crib after it, so cop that champ. I then completed Cortez's mission strand to get this trophy. I then moved on to the rampages, which were actually very easy. I didn't have any kind of gang ties or anything like that, so they were all very simple. The hardest part is to actually get them to spawn. Oh, what? There's zero fucking spawns. I've killed six people. There's not even fucking NPCs on the streets. What are they spawning over here for? Oh yeah, where was this like fucking two minutes ago? Fuck! Oh, rampage failed. Really? I wonder why that is. It's just ridiculous. What the fuck just happened? Oh my! It turns out that you can just restart your game and they start spawning, but I didn't know this. So for at least half hour to an hour, I was completing rampages with low enemy spawns, and it was quite frustrating. Holy shit, that is the biggest buzzer beater of all time. Oh my god. Oh my god. At the buzzer. Damn you, Lilith. Are you kidding me? Once I figured out I could restart my game to get them to spawn, I was able to complete them all very easily. Africa come on the radio again, so I gave that a listen. I encountered this game breaking bug, which I thought was very funny at first that Tommy was just running around like an idiot during this cutscene, but it actually locked me from being able to move. So I had to restart my game. And that was cool. I then learned that the cops on this game were absolutely insane. Somehow I failed earlier to get six stars, but here I did it without trying. I went on an absolute rampage to get this trophy where you've got to get a high enough media retention rank, which I took as pretty much however much damage you do and how many people you kill in a certain crime spree, uh, you get put on the news. So you got to get a high enough media attention rank. You've got to get the stuff of legends rank, so that requires a certain amount of points. So while I went to check to see how many points I had, I uh, got the trophy. I'm not really sure what happened here. I experienced another cutscene glitch where this guy just couldn't get to his bike. Like, obviously I'm in his way, but the game put me there, so I'm not really sure what happened there. But yeah, completing this side mission strand got me this trophy. Okay. This side mission strand involved me working with the Love Fist band, which completing that got me this trophy. In this part of the story, I was now gang affiliated, so I started doing all the gang missions. Completing this one got me this trophy. I was then committing a robbery where this guy just fucking teleported. I don't even know what happened. As you can tell, I experienced a lot more glitches with this game than the last one, but whatever. In this mission, I pretty much got to drink and drive, which was uh, a lot of fun. The real question is, is this drink driving better than the Grand Theft Auto 5 Enhanced Edition drink driving? I'm not so sure. For this trophy, I got the Butcher Crime rating, which is for 10,000 crime points. These properties and property missions actually contribute to the story. So I had to buy the rest of the properties and complete all the property missions to continue the story. This film studio one had a missable trophy where I pretty much had to jump across these rooftops with this bike without touching the ground. It wasn't too bad. After doing all the property missions, I was then finally able to complete the story, which I actually really enjoyed the story. I thought that it made you feel like you were taken over Vice City with Tommy. Starting to make connections, you're starting to take down like mob bosses. You know, you get assets of your own, and you really become the kingpin of Vice City. I feel like the gameplay mixed very well with the story, and that's my quick little review. I, re I really like the game. That was really good. That was a lot better than GTA 3.
Wow. If you remember this trophy at the start of the video, you need the Godfather criminal rating to get it, which requires you to have 100,000 criminal rating points, which throughout the whole story I only had 10,000 points. I needed 90,000 more points. It literally could have taken me maybe 10 hours, maybe more to complete it legit. So what I did was I did an exploit. I didn't really want to do it, but I wanted to get this video out as quick as possible so I can work on San Andreas a bit earlier. So pretty much in this exploit, you've got to just constantly beat your score by one second essentially and see by the money I got by the end here, it was a lot of money and it got me the trophy. Like I said, I really didn't want to have to do an exploit, but with a trophy that grindy, I kind of just settled for it. But yeah, you can see I got 52 million right there, which got me to over 100 million. Oh, take the cannoli! Let's go! As I mentioned earlier, you can buy properties in this game. Not all of them generate a revenue. You can also buy save houses, which allow you to save in different areas of the game. So getting 10 properties overall, I got this trophy. There's a little miscellaneous trophy where you've got to do five keepy uppies. I was able to do it pretty much straight away. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be hard, but I felt like I got kind of lucky doing it. So I'm going to take it and run. Yes, come on, man. Quit playing with me. I then tried some stupid shit straight after it and it just didn't pay off whatsoever. Well, that didn't work. Now, Fuck! To get the 100% trophy, you need to buy every single property in the game. So this was the last property I bought and I wasn't very happy with it. What a fucking shit hole. <laughs> That's not the last property in the game I just bought. What the fuck, bro? Get me out of here. There are more parked vehicle missions in this game, which are like the off-roading missions, like in GTA 3. Uh, there's no RC car blowing up people anymore, but there are remote control vehicle missions where you can race as RC planes, there's like a RC helicopter, a little fun mission, and here's some footage of the RC car race, which was pretty fun. You don't actually get a trophy for completing all of them, except the 100% trophy, but you do get a trophy for completing this one RC car race. As you can probably tell, I'm working towards 100% now, but another requirement to 100% is to do these stadium events. Uh, this one was the last one I had to do. It was actually pretty easy. I saw like some people struggle with it. Maybe I just got really lucky, but I was able to do every single stadium event first try, which was ideal. The only property missions that you don't have to do to complete the game is the Sunshine Auto ones. Its asset missions are the import and export vehicles little mission again and you've got street races tied to it as well but they are not required to complete the story but they were both the last couple things i did so here is me doing more import and export stuff this time it literally took me like half an hour it was a lot easier than last time there's four lists completing the first list unlocked the deluxo which i had to hit max speed in to get this trophy here are my favorite ones where you had to steal like a golf cart and like a baggage carrier from like the airport it was just like some pretty funny vehicles ice cream trucks all that stuff another thing to get 100 percent is that you have to rob every store in the game so the last two i needed were in the mall here so it doesn't get you a trophy or anything like that but just another thing to do for 100%. To get this trophy, you had to complete all the assassination missions in the game. Another thing to get 100% in this game is to get a score of 45 on this uh, shooting challenge, which I was able to do in about three or four attempts. The last thing I had to do was stunt jumps, which you'd think it'd be pretty easy, right? I thought the exact same thing as you. I thought, look, stunt jumps are so easy. Leave them to the end. A little bit of fun. What can go wrong? Turns out in this game, there are some stunt jumps that you complete just by completing the story or other side missions and i didn't really remember which ones were which so i pretty much had to just go through them all and try and figure out which ones i had done and which ones i hadn't and while going through them all i uh, actually missed two from what i've seen a few people have said certain stunt jumps are glitched and do not count. Earlier I did a missable trophy where i had to jump over the rooftops on the bike and i am almost certain but that was the one that I was missing. It seemed like I was going to be missing two, and well, the Platinum Trophy relies on me being able to get these stunt jumps. My mind was racing. I was trying to think of ones that I might have missed on my way through, but I was I was 100% certain I did every single one in the video that I watched, yet 
I was still two stunt jumps behind, I just couldn't figure it out. And then I started thinking about this stunt jump here, which I figured out afterwards I was doing something wrong. As you can see, this stunt jump made me quite delirious and I was starting to lose grip on reality and starting to lose my marbles a little bit. Oh my god, I got a trigger. Take a lot to drag me away from you. <laughs> what I found out in that moment was that I was using a I was using the bike that you use in an off-roading mission which while that mission is active, stunt jumps do not count. For 20 minutes I was trying to do that one stunt jump and that off-roading mission randomly failed me. So that next attempt trying the stunt jump, it triggered the slow motion which I was excited about and I completed it. So after 20 minutes trying to think of which stunt jump I could be missing, I could think of a couple that I thought that I was in an off-roading mission trying to do and the rest was history. I don't remember whether I got this one during the off-roading mission, I don't think I did. Maybe I did. This could be the last one, hopefully. Oh my god! That was the last one! I've done it all! Daredevil! Kingpin! Let's fucking go, man! <laughs> oh, I thought I was gonna have to do all of them again. Oh my god, I thought I was going to have to do all of them again. Oh, you donut. Oh, you idiot. Oh my god, I did not think that that was it. Thank god for that, man. It was a fun run by city, but we're going to have to we're going to have to delete it. Well, there's only one thing left to do now. We got to complete the trilogy, baby.